All right, guys, welcome back to Pump and Sweat. Today is the lower body. We have we are going to be using some dumbbells, preferably, or if you have any type of weighted object at home, I'm going to be using dumbbells. Since it is lower body, our bigger muscle group, I would like you to use a little bit heavier weights. I'm using a 35 pound dumbbell and I have two 25 pound dumbbells as well. But again, whatever you have at home that you can add some weight to today's workout, that would be awesome. All right, let's jump into this workout. I'm gonna start with a warm up. I'm gonna start with a jog in three, two, one. Let's go. Get that heart rate up. Whew. A little chilly today again. Get that blood flowing. It's that easy here. Easy. All right, let's go into jumping jacks. Again, if you want to go for that full range of motion, touching those hands behind the back. Good. And let's come down. You're going to go for a squat. You're going to rotate those hips open. So open up. Let's go for one more on each side. Good. Keeping those legs. A little bit wider, you're gonna shift your weight side to side. You wanna sit back, come back up. What we call Cossack squats. So one more on each side. Good, right, let's go back to that jog. Wait a second, those legs, get some blood pumping in those legs. If you've been sitting all day or just woke up, waking, waking them up. All right, let's get those jumping jacks again. Breathe. Right, let's go back to those squats. Again, squat, the weight and heel, rotate that leg. Those legs a little bit wider, shift that weight side to side. You might be able to go deeper on one side. Okay. One more on each side. Good. All right, we're going to kind of go back to that hip opener. I'm going to open up, tap back, open up, tap forward. Alternate sides. Good, one more each side. Good, I want you guys to crisscross those feet, come down, touch the ground, hold it for a second or two, come right back up. Crisscross, touch the ground, hold it for a second or two, come back up, we're loosening up those hamstrings. Good. And let's go for one more on each side. All right, and let's finish this warm up up with a little quad stretch. Again, kind of tilting yourself forward a little bit, not extended, not too rounded. Three, two, one, and switch. If you need to hold on to something for balance, it's perfectly fine. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, shake that out. All right guys, so today, the first part we're gonna start with is a 10 minute AMRAP, or uh, kind of like an EMOM, so to say. So what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna face my camera over here in a second. Actually, let me just go ahead and do that now. <clears throat> so, let's see here, let's move it right about. Let's go, let's get right here. I think right there, are we okay? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do step ups, okay? Now, you could do weighted step ups if you want. You don't have to do step ups at all, or um, weighted step ups at all. I'm probably not gonna do weighted, I'm just gonna do regular step ups. It's gonna look like this. Now, you can lift that leg if you want to, or 
good stuff. Okay. So anything that you can step up on, if it's maybe a couch or a box, anything that has at least some type of height. Now, if you have absolutely nothing at home to do that, then go ahead and just do some lunges. Maybe you're doing some walking lunges, that's fine. Now, every minute though, and we're gonna start with this, is you're going to do 10 weighted squats. Now, you could do a goblet squat. So you could take one dumbbell, bring it to the chest, one, two. Or you could take two dumbbells, okay? And you go for 10, one, two, and so on. Whatever time that was left in your minute. So let's say it takes me 30 seconds to do that. That's where the step ups come into play. Come up. Okay. The top of the next minute, I start with my squats. Okay. And I just keep doing that for 10 minutes. Okay. So we do 10 squats. The remaining of the time, you do step ups. Then we do um, uh, the squats. Kind of like how we did yesterday in our cardio. All right, guys. Okay, let me take this off and we're gonna get right into this. Ooh. Seem to take these layers off quickly than I think. All right. Sorry. <coughs> Bless me. All right. Back this camera up a little bit. Let's go from the side here. Ooh, there we go. Do some step ups that way. All right, crew, let's do this. Get those dumbbells. If you don't have anything to do your weighted squats with, just don't don't use any weight. Okay. We're gonna go for ten squats here. Remaining of your time, you got step ups. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and work. Ten squat. I'm using two twenty five pounds. For this one, squeeze the butt coming up, keep the weight in the heels. And breathe. You got 25 seconds. Again, whatever time is left. You do step ups. Now, you don't have to raise that knee like I'm doing. You could step up just like this, okay? I don't wanna see this though, okay? The leg that's plant, step up and through. Come right back down. Breathe. You got eight seconds. You're gonna go right back to those step ups. Or I'm sorry, the squats, three, two, one, back to those squats. Ten. Shoot from the side. Ooh, that was a little funky. Breathe. Thirty seconds. Breathe. Come on. You got this. Working the booty. Working the hamstrings. Working the quads. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Squat. Go. Ten of them. Nice job. Twenty seconds, and if you know we're not really doing cardio today, but 
Lower body, those muscles. They get you. We'll get that heart rate up. Three, two, one, back at it. Let's go. Breathe. You're working your core here as well. Thirty seconds. Let's go. Ten seconds. Come on. Three, two. One, grab those weights. Yeah, if at any point if you're going forward, Drop the weight, drop one dumbbell, do that goblet squat, okay? You don't wanna hurt your back. 25 seconds. We're halfway after this round. It's heavy. Let's go, let's go. 30 seconds. I'm breathing heavy in this mic. That's why. Working my lower body here. Woo, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, grab those weights. Nice job. 30 seconds. I know it's burning. My core is burning. After yesterday. Whew. Keeping those weights in that front rack so that you don't forward fold. Your core's gotta be tight. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Two breath in. Let's go. seconds. We got two more rounds after this. That's it. Those of you who did weighted step-ups, props to you. 
You got it. You can just go here. You don't have to drive that knee, but when you step, step straight up. Fully extend those hips. All right. Ten seconds. One last round. Three, two, one. Right, let's go. Last one. Make it the best. Let's go. Let's go. Almost there, crew. Last 30 seconds. I like to drive my knee with a little core. Plus, you know, you got that full hip extension. Drive it up. Come on, last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and that's time. Grab a quick sip of water. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna move you guys back over here. Ooh. All right. Cool. All right. So. My camera's good there. Okay. All right. So now what we got is our next circuit. So we have one more circuit here, 12 minutes, and then we're going to finish with the core. Okay. So I like to try and do all these. There we go. Um, ending with the core. Okay. So next up here, we got what, what I like to call a little Tabata, but it's a longer Tabata, four to five seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Okay. So we have four exercises. I'll just kind of show you them as we um, go. But the first one is going to be a single leg deadlift, okay? So you could take two dumbbells, you could take one dumbbell. It doesn't matter, but you need some balance here. So I'm gonna be here. Again, you could also do same leg, same arm. You could crisscross what I mean, so I'll show you. But I'm gonna be here, come down. Stand back up. I'm sending my hips back, okay? Touching that dumbbell down. I could do opposite arm if I wanted to. Work a little more obliques there, doesn't matter. But you need to balance. I don't wanna like see this, okay? Try to keep that leg so you're nice and even, okay? And you're back. Now, if this is just super hard for you for balance, you're falling all over the place, I want you to kind of use that other leg that would be going up in the air like a little kickstand so you're gonna just barely have it touching the ground but I'm gonna do the motion where I'm still sending my hips back and I want to touch okay so my toe just barely touching the ground but it's there it's a kickstand okay so we have 45 seconds we're gonna go about 20 seconds or so on each side I'll tell you when to switch all right enough of me talking let's do this grab one dumbbell or an object all right here we go three, two, one, and work. So this first round, I'm just gonna use a 25. All right. Let's go. Face this way for you guys. So I have it same 
some arm, same leg right now. Sometimes I like to crisscross. Good, and let's switch. So when you guys do this, I want your hips to be square. So if you're starting to like turn all over the place, you need to really focus. One more rep. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, work a little hamstrings there. All right, next one, we're going into a Bulgarian split squat. You could use one dumbbell, you could use two dumbbells. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna just hold one for right now. I'm gonna have one leg back, one leg forward, coming down, coming straight back up. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Down and up. Again, we're gonna go for about 20 seconds on each side. Now the movement is up and down. I don't want you guys to be going forward and back. Okay, so plant, come right back up. Three, two, one, and switch. Other leg forward, touch that knee. The next time around, I'll show you another way you can hold the dumbbell. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, now we're gonna do Cossack squats, how we did in the beginning. We're gonna hold a dumbbell, preferably go really heavy. Take those feet out wide, point them straight. Then you're gonna shift that weight side to side. Three, two, one, and go. So I'm going here, side to side. Sending those hips back. Okay, I'm not going forward, I'm not letting that weight come forward. Sending my hips back. Side to side, working a little inner thighs here, the booty, hamstrings. About 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. Now you're gonna come down into your mat. We're gonna do what you call frog pumps, reverse frog pumps. You don't need any weight for this. Okay, down the ground, heels together. All you're gonna do, lift. Three, two, one, and go. So really small movement, trying to get those quads, those knees off the ground, very small. Come right back down, squeeze in the butt. Okay, if you feel this in your low back, you need to think focusing more on the butt. Now you could do this off a bench, okay? But we're on a mat. Small movement. Squeeze the butt. You're kind of going like out and up. Three. Two, one, good. You'll feel that down your hamstrings, your butt. But again, if you're feeling in your low back, I want you to really focus on maybe pushing down a little bit, okay? All right, we're going back to that single leg deadlift. Three, two, one, and let's go. I'm gonna go into my 35 pounder. Let's do it. Balance. rounds of this. And switch sides. Use the other arm. Keep it out for a balance. About five more seconds here. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we got those Bulgarian split squats now. This time, what you guys can do is that leg that's forward. We're gonna put that weight in the, that arm that's forward. Three, two, one. It's gonna look like this. Come down, come up. So my weight is in my front heel, coming up and down. Three, 
three, two, one, and switch. Find that balance, go right down to that spot. those Cossack squats. Grab that weight. We're going to shift side to side. Good. When you shift, send that hip back. Okay. The weight's going to stay right in the middle. Three, two, one, and work. Feet pointing forward. Shift that weight. Good. Nice little booty, side booty here too. seconds. Three, two, one. Good. We're going into those reverse frog pumps. So stomach down. Again, heels together. Kind of lift. You got to squeeze that butt. Three, two, one. Go. So again, you're gonna kinda go up and out, okay? So up and out, so push, so up, and you kinda push. So again, use the butt. If you're, again, if you're feeling it in your low back, if you have a bent or something, you can lay on and do this where you kinda then bring your legs down. That may help. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we got one more round. Start with those deadlifts. If you didn't go up and wait yet, if you have good form, challenge you. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Focus. hips back. Again, I'm keeping my hips still. I'm not like twisting. So my hips are staying straight. Three, two, one, switch. Nice job. Breathe. Five seconds. Three, two, one. We're gonna go into that split squat. I'm gonna use my 35 for this one. That Bulgarian split squat. Uh, preferably we would be up. This is more of a split squat, not I guess not really Bulgarian. Our foot's not up, but three, two, one. I don't know why I said Bulgarian, but go ahead, stagger stance. Come up. Let's go with this side one again. Again, up and down. Three, two, one, switch sides. Sometimes finding that balance is hard. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we got two more. Going into that Cossack squat. Now, if the weight is too much, now you may feel it in your back because we're going forward too much. Drop the weight and just kind of do what we did in the warm up. Three, two, one, and go. Feet wide, shift. So those hips have got to go back.
there's different ways to hold the weight this time though having you guys hold it here Here you go, you got 10 seconds. Oh. You got it. three, two, one. All right, last one, those three reverse Brass pumps. Stomach down. Three, two, one. Feet, feet together, push. Up and push. Use that booty. Woo. Three. Woo. Fifteen seconds. Let's go. I'm trying to get this quad knees off just a tad when you push up and out. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, crew. Grab some water. We're going to finish with five minutes of core. You don't need any equipment for this. All right, so what we got here Actually, maybe you guys a little closer to me. All right. So we're going to do five minutes of fast Russian twist. Okay. And uh, I'm sorry, not five. Ten seconds of fast Russian twist. Get those feet off the ground. Twist, twist. Only ten seconds. Then you're going into the remaining of the minute, kind of the style we've been doing here. The remaining of the minute is slow sit up. So come back, touch the ground, nice and slow, like you're going up like vertebrae by vertebrae, touch in front of your toes, come right back down. Okay, when the top of the minute hits, right back to 10 seconds, fast Russian twist. Five minutes of this. All right, crew, let's do this. Here we go. Three, two, one, go, 10 seconds, go. Fresh and twist, come on. I want you to go fast. Touch those hands, get that full rotation. Three, two, one, into those slow sit-ups, touch behind, come all the way up. Again, I want these slow. So I am in a butterfly position in my sit-ups because that allows you to come all the way up and you're using your core and you get that full range. Your stomach actually gets to come, come all the way up. Sometimes if you're like this, like you're blocking. Okay, so this allows you to come all the way up. 20 seconds. If you hear that dog barking, that's my neighbors. <laughs> Let's go, 10 seconds. And go back to those Russian twists. Three, two, one. Let's go fast. Come on. Try to get those feet off the ground. Three, two, one. Back to those sit ups. Come on. Nice and slow. Breathe. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Russian twist. Come on, fast. Go, go, go. Come on, crew. Three, two, one. Back at those sit-ups. Woo! Should start to feel it now.
keep breathing. This is one of those workouts where it's like, it doesn't look hard, but you feel it. Ten seconds. Three, two, all right, let's go. We got two more rounds. Come on, come on. Fast, fast, fast. Three, two, one, sit ups. Woo! Almost there. seconds till we go to our last round. Three, two, all right, last round, let's go. Come on, all out. Twist, twist. Touch those hands on the mat. Three, two, one, last set of sit-ups. 50 seconds. Come on. Almost there. Nice job, ten seconds. Three, two. One, and that is time. Let's flip over, touch out that core. Woo yeah. Back in that child's pose, open those legs up. You guys killed this. Let's go into a deep runner's lunge. Take that right leg forward, sink down to deep lunge here. Nice little stretch. Nice, nice job today. You guys did awesome. Uh, sit back, pull that tilt back. Nice little hamstring stretch. Gonna go forward again. Open up that hip. Okay, go back to that hamstring stretch. Good, let's switch legs. So to that left foot, or whichever leg didn't have forward. Good, sit back, pull that front toe. Hamstring stretch. My left leg's always tighter. And lean forward. And pull it back. Good. Step those feet forward. Hold it down here. Grab those elbows, sway side to side. Good. Roll it up. Go into a quad stretch. Oh, I think my video is really low right now. Don't know if you guys can see me actually. Good and switch. All right, guys, that is it for our. Hopefully, you can see me. If not, I'm just gonna kneel because I don't know. <laughs> that is it for our lower body workout. Thank you guys for joining me. Tomorrow is going to be um, more of like another core cardio tip of focus, okay? So get at it, stretch. If you need some more stretching, get at that, uh, get some water in you, protein, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Again, hit subscribe and take care. Bye.